Uh, now we so I took on a bunch of elithid powers. Hmm. Go of have a chat. Your parasite communes with Lazelle's. Her heart races as she learns of the events inside the astral prison. Orpheus, Gith's only son. He lives. The tainted blood of the mother. The traitor prince. The Laxeri. Um... Uh, mighty powerful... <coughs> Mighty powerful prince if he can block out an illithid hive mind. And even more powerful still. It's said he could bring a thousand Githyanki to their knees with one command. Listen close. The Empress spoke only in half truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Lacketh. Long ago, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. 170 or 57. That's a lot of Vlakith. Yes. Our current queen has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was, is Gith's renegade spawn. A gay thrall who would return us to our slavers. He convinced his own mother's honor guard to join a coup against Vlakith One. He would have fed our empire to the Illithids had he succeeded. It was Kithrak Voss himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle, or so the Varshas teach us. Yet the traitor's with us, controlled by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would hand Vlakith's dominion to his Geich masters. The astral plane would be first to fall. The others would soon follow. What happens now? We find a way to enter the prison and slay Orpheus. He is a geich puppet cloaked in Githyanki skin and the most powerful mind master known to my people. One word from his scheming lips and the people would doubt. Two words and they would rage. Three words and they would bow to the false prince. The Githyanki would be slaves once more and one by one, the planes would fall to the gate. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Another step forward. Got a heart and your white hair. Beautiful. So, there's been a mind flayer inside the artifact or astral prism the whole time we've had it. Sounds like utter madness, even though I've seen it with my own eyes. The more I learn, the less I understand just why I was sent to retrieve that thing. But it matters little now. I do not serve Shah anymore, nor the Mother Superior. The prism is no longer my mission. Saving my parents is. But I digress. Did you want something? These illithid powers we're developing, what do you make of them? On one hand, they seem useful. But on the other hand, or perhaps tentacle before long, we know where they're coming from and what lies at the end of that path. I never expected seramorphosis to be tempting. I think we should resist these powers. There's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it. Perhaps you're right. It's been known to happen. Been known to happen, cheeky bitch. Go 
gods, Shadowheart looks like a stack of gold. <laughs> Never thought I could get so excited about someone's forehead, but here we are. Wow. It's been a while since we connected like we once did. Yeah. I had the same thought. So much has happened between then and now. Maybe we just got a little caught up in it all. But I'm not going anywhere. I've got plans for the future, you know, and they involve you. Hey. Go on. If you're happy, I'm happy. Are you happy? Couldn't have said it better myself. All right. No more radiant sight than that of someone who's learned to love themselves anew. Shadowed in name, but no longer in spirit. It suits her. Very rare gift, a natural touch tadpole with the power to grant you a new partial lifted form. I can only imagine what I could do were I to adopt the biology of a mind flayer. It certainly doesn't seem to have done you any harm. Or rather, you've not yet done me any harm. Still, there are undoubtedly risks to such a transformation. Your persuasion of you will yield, you wield this power well, and with the wisdom, there aren't many I trust with this. If this is what the fates have offered to aid our cause, then who am I to refuse? I'll take your tadpole. Let's see what it has to offer. Okay. Why am I steeped in bliss now? The fuck? I think my box is back up this way. No. Only by withers. Ah, camera, what the fuck? How can I help? Oh. Nothing would give me greater pleasure. Which of our esteemed company am I stepping in for? Back in the thick of things at last. Oh, how exciting. And then, as Gail. Life pulses from within. The parasite's thoughts whisper at the edge of your mind. It wants to share itself with you. It wants to be let in. Go on. Don't be afraid. It only wants to help you evolve. Open your mind to it. A coldness seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt more connected. Whoa. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. Gail is haunting now. Perhaps. Once the others see what you can do, 
they will consider trying it for themselves. My only spy made you just. <gasps> <laughs> Her thoughts on it are poor Gale. <laughs> Let's do. I think I'll do counter spell, fireball. Caster. It's all creepy looking now. Ah, I made my decision. A bunch of people might be a little displeased with it, but I made my decision. At least things have stayed interesting. Is he light on my feet in bliss go get will I guess always at your side love shadow hearts new look softer less severe it suits her I agree Sorry, but there's no room for me. I like how you think. Okay, I'll rest and leave camp. Rotten food. Moving ahead. You have um, excuse me. I can't find my mum. Where did you last see her? She was, um, she was sick. She had spots on her face and hands. She went to go get some herbs, and she was supposed to come back the same day. That was last ten day, though. You must be hungry. Take some food. Wow. Thanks. My mum would like this. She's the best cook in the world. And she taught me too. I'll, um, I'll look for her. I think she'll probably come soon. Thanks a lot. Okay. But you'll be in a big... Seems like a good moment to talk. 
anything you want for supper. <sighs> Can't talk. I'm sorry. The little one needs all of my attention. Do you know where we're going? What kind of inn is it? Will there be feather beds? Nearly there now. You can see the city up on the hill. That's why we need to walk. Turn back, citizen. No passage in this direction. Why not? It's bloodier than a butcher's backyard out there. Piles of dead absolutists, and a few of our own as well. The cultists assaulted the gate, armed to the teeth trying to break in. They nearly had it too, before the steel watch intervened. The watch said some sort of fancy new rank, uh, city watchman. <laughs> A little more than that. You'll see for yourself soon enough if you head to the city. <laughs> sure. Fucking. What do you get out of this? there now. You can see the city. Up on the hill. Everyone deserves the chance to make some friends. The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Deluvia! Get these spotters out of my house now! Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. Everyone calm, explain your disagreement, we shall find in, in accord. I don't see why I should be explaining myself. It's my property. They are on it unlawfully. Look, we needed somewhere to live. This place was empty and it had walls. I've got children for tears sake. Mr. Gregor is right. Your presence here is unlawful. Eh. Gesture to Gregor, uh, invite him to reply. Well, I, that's all very sad, but, but, but I still don't see how... It gets cold out there at night, Mr. Gregorio. My kids will get sick. Please, we'll stay out of your way. We just need a roof. This is my home. I may pride myself on my philanthropy, but I draw the line at being a halfway house. This man's indignant demeanor barely masks a seething anxiety. There's more to this situation than he's letting on. Look, time is money, and I'm losing both just standing here. Make your call, judge before Zenobia makes it for you. Uh, you seem to be a little on edge. Are you all right? Well, wouldn't you be on edge if your beautiful home had been defiled by such brazen interlopers? Oof. Can I make these squatters disappear for half as much as... No. How about you live and let live and I let you live and return? Oh my god. Well, I need your guidance. Didn't need it, apparently. Fine, fine. They can stay. Just don't blame me when they turn on you like the mongrels they are. I respect your hustle, sweetheart, but it won't work on me. You've stepped on the guild's toes and we'd like a little something to make it better who all right i get it how much do you want just a little something consider it a gesture of goodwill
I'm not paying you that much. That's pure extortion. Oh, you know, it's shocking how many people opt for the hard way when the easy way is right there. Any last words? I fought and killed an Avatar Miracle recently. Do you have any last words? Overwhelmingly successful. You're serious. Let's forget this unpleasantness ever happened. Yeah, you can fuck off now. Come on, boys. We've got places to be. Bye bye, cuties. Of the men. All right. At least here we stand a chance. Talk to me, man. I'm not quite sure why you stood up for us like that, but I won't say I'm not grateful. Thanks. I may Torm keep you. You're quite welcome. You're the first person in this city to have our backs. Thank you. Really. Hearing hospitality. I thank the gods. I was sure we were about to be evicted. I don't think the children could cope with it. Let's see what this does. With a flick of the wrist. Oh my god. There we go. We just ah, pick of the magic one. The problems are soon begun. She'll be all right. She's a brave girl. We'll get through this. Boy makers basement key. Interesting. Right now I have the fairy godmother's song stuck in my head. At least we'll have some peace. Back. Peace. What peace? Haven't you heard there's an army marching towards the city? I don't know, man. Thank you for the invitation. How much? Uh, I'm sure this is Chris, and I haven't lived down any of my experience with the Drow twins. A little mishap. Oh, what do you? Uh, uh, what do you mean the Drow twins? What is this place? What the fuck? What is this motherfucking place? Now we don't have to leave. I'm gonna build a big house for all the rats. It's gonna be really fancy. You'll see. My maker's basement. Beautiful. Oh, 
fuck me. Damn, it's good to be alive. Hot foot, hot foot. Place is trapped. Step carefully. There's a trap. I don't want to jinx it, but I've been getting mad lucky with these rolls. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Step carefully. There's a trap. Fuck. Come on. Get for SVGs only, please distribute. Okay. Unfinished toy. Can't slow down. down here all there's a both whatever Good thing you sorted that out. I was this close to chucking a knife right between that trollop's eyes. Yeah, sure you were. sharp eye out red caps are on the loose one steamed too violent to work and not one of these circus folks seem bothered by it all this kerfuffle over missing red caps yes we'd caged them due to unruly behavior but as our red cap cleaners demonstrate most are perfectly harmless I've killed a little couple of red caps, but okay. Necessity, good sir. 
The Steel Watch loves pretending sweet Rivington doesn't exist. So we have decided to protect you, dear patrons. <laughs> no need to thank us. You'll be allowed in once I've done this batch. Next! Hello, hello, and welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. The finest extra planar circus there is. <gasps> A circus! Can we go? I've never heard of an extra planar circus. We travel from plane to plane, thrilling all blessed to see us. From tempestuous Ginny to belligerent red caps, you'll find them all here. Why is it called sniffing people? Oh, uh, this is Benjamin. Say hi, Benji. Me! Benji here checks all our patrons to make sure none of you are vicious murderers. <laughs> Can't be too careful. But enough of this. The circus is a place of joy and distraction, so uh, come inside and forget your worries. All right, I'd like to enter the circus. Not a problem, dear patron. Benji just has to check if you're a vicious murderer. Benji? <sighs> ah! Brain juice smells like piss and iron! No like. Oh, that's a first. Usually I'd allow you in, but in these times, I can take no chances. Move along. No circus for you. I'm not a threat to you or anyone else in the circus, I swear it. Uh, I'm a friend of Lord Gortash. I wonder what I'll say if I tell him about this. Uh, I don't want to say I'm a friend of Lord Gortash. Fuck that guy. Oh, damned if I'm not a sucker for big eyes and a heartfelt plea. Very well. Welcome to the circus of the last days. Have fun and... Be sure to catch the star of our show, Dribbles the Clown. He's the clown, don't you? Come on, Carlac. You know what you need? A ripper of a ballad. Prepare your heart. Nay. Your very soul. Enjoying the show? Then you're going to love Dribbles. He's about to perform on stage. This city of storm and steel is an endless scream in nature's womb. I have felt no peace here. Until now, your eyes, Stira. There is pain, endless and deep, but also devotion, blazing like the sun. You're in love, are you not? I'll have someone, someone close to me, actually. You are wise to admit it. When it comes to love, vulnerability is armor. Truth, a sword. And trust, a shield. I pray you wield all three, Stira. Bring the one you love to me. I will look into your hearts and see if your love is eternal. Or doomed eternally. It could be fun, Carlac. What do you think? Yes, yes, yes! Let's do it! Close your eyes, little ones. Be still as stone to earth. And remember to breathe.
I see you. I see the bond between you. So tender. So fragile. But do you see it for yourselves? Karlak. Her fire within can incinerate an enemy. Or warm a beloved. Listen. Think. Who does she loathe above all others? Just the sound of his name makes my blood boil. Probably literally. Can't stand the fucker. Ding ding! Nice. Oh, this is... Oh, no. Hear how your bond thrums with pleasure. Strong. Vital. Pulsing with affection. Many things delight the heart. But only one makes it sing. <clears throat> Tell me, what is her idea of a perfect day? Bashing baddies uh, in her purse with victories. <laughs> you know me too well. What? The sweetest loves dance lightly on the tongue. But they sag and suffer with age. The future brings many trials. A decade from now, what will the mighty Karlak do? Where will she be? Settle down in a quiet village with a nice partner and a few kids. Kids, huh? Mm, I don't know. How about a really mean goat? But I don't know. Things can change, I guess. I've heard. <laughs> you really know me, don't you? It's wild. In so many ways, we barely know each other. But where it counts, you're deeper in my head than that tadpole. How close you are. Two hearts beating a perfect rhythm. But I know the truth. Only one face haunts your dreams each night. Close your eyes, sweetness, and she will come to you. You're the lick spittle who crushed the bone lord's thrall. <laughs> oh, have you come b b begging, sniffing for our stones? Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. <laughs> oh, your bond will not save you. He will wrap its cord around your neck and make you swing from it. When you find the Lordling, tell him Oren is watching. Okay. So, Oren is a shapeshifter. How long has she been watching? Viola Silvertongue, at your service, or I will be, once my set is done. It's 
Jose Grapevine, then pivot step. Jacob, you have the grace of my great-grandmother's missing leg. Oh, and Boris, Boris, put some sensuality into those lovely hip bones. I know you have it in you. Step it up. Sorry for interrupting. Interrupting a massacre? Merkel, help me. These three make the art of dance look like a ritual sacrifice. Call me Lucretius, ringmaster, necromancer, bringer of the night. Oh, and wine lover extraordinaire. Normally, I'd invite you into my tent for a lovely vintage. But these graceless skellies need my full attention. Enjoy my circus, darling. Interesting. Got a hand. Yep, scratchy, itchy. I think I passed by somebody on the way in. Boney, co-owner of the Stony and Boney's Bespoke Creations. Darling, we have a customer. <clears throat> Is your camp drab? Dreary? Then you have come to the right place. Browse our bespoke Stony and Boney Creations. Or commission a statue in your likeness. It is our most sought after service. Let's see oh, what you have. You shall be thrilled and delighted. I know it. All right, finally, I can drop weight. Mm. Here to that. I don't know why I'm holding on to that, but. Who knows? Doesn't really seem like they've got a lot of money right now. Which I mean, eh. Nothing caught your eye? I shan't tell my wife. She'd be most upset. Ah, the adventurer returns. Care to purchase a bespoke? Stony and bony creation. I'd like a statue of myself for my camp. Oh, my wife shall be delighted. Oh, Five thousand favorite, particularly when their <sighs> facial structure is as unique as yours. Um. Oh my god. Ah, oh, too expensive. That's the genie I've heard about. Five thousand. Manage over the hand movements. No. You realize she is trying to tell you something. That is all. I don't understand what you're trying to say. <laughs> Approach, ugly one. The hell did you just call me? Ugly, 
Hideous! Vile! You are fortunate to have found me, freakish one. Behold! Akabi's Wheel of Wonders! Spin! To win prizes beyond your tiny imagination! And make your miserable life more bearable! kind of things can I win? Akabi has traveled across the plains, burning and conquering all. Win the spoils of such conquest. Or, if luck smiles upon you, win the grand prize, the jackpot. What is the jackpot? No more questions. Spin or don't. Memory visual, making my miserable life are fine, thanks. Then a carby pities you. Be gone, miserable one. What a dickhead. Look like there's anybody else for me to talk to, so I guess I'll make my way back around. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, Crimson, please, oh, please. Ooh, don't get too close, or Crimson here might decide you look tasty. That's a lovely thought, anyways. You're wearing medium or heavy? Damn it. What a charmer. Holding on to this for her. You know, put it in her inventory, drop some weight. Have a lot on my All right, mind let's do this. Well, in it. I need a quick word. Buddy the dog is my very best friend. Do you know why? Why? Because with him, anything is pausable. Way! <laughs> <clears throat> Between you and me, I love a good clown. And Dribbles is the best. Did you hear about the scarecrow who lost a fight? He got the stuff in, kicked out of him. Way! <laughs> oh, you're all such good friends. I've had a wonderful time, but I have to go. Oh, oh well, if you insist. <gasps> How about a magic trick? But first, I need a volunteer with nerves of steel and the heart of a lion. Who will it be? Who? The hair on the back of your neck raises as a shiver passes through you. You, my special assistant. Come on up. Can I volunteer Will? Well, there's a job for the Blade of Frontiers, don't you, Will? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Oh, my heart! The enthusiasm is too much! Now, up, up, double sharp! Or oh, poor Buddy will think you don't like him! Right there! Oh, perfect! Go on, Will! <laughs> Well, if you insist. Now, you're very special, as special as can be. Does anyone know why? 
are special, my friend, because I have a message just for you. Praise the Absolute. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Yeah, oh Jesus Christ. this I've literally never fucking seen this before in my life and yeah, why not we'll charm it what the fuck what the fuck Why would you know that? Master of puns and punchlines. What a name! What a name! Stay down, bitch. Oh, get away from me, you displacing bitch. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful. Missed. Okay, whatever. Morphic ambush. Oh, okay, doppelganger. Okay, you're dead. Charm him. Ah, you bitch. Stab him. Nice. Um. Dollar. Missed both times with a forty something percent. Nice. That's a lot of damage. Oh my God. Ah, fuck you. Unimus. Oh, that's a main action. Okay.
forgot. Can you do this? Nice. Uh, there's Circus of here boasting a collection of misfits and ragtags and most importantly a stage now comes to the performance of the lifetime the curtain falls the tribunal will be watching the clown hammer taking it just because never wanted the easy path where did my friend go Was the guy that just fought alongside me? Where did he go? I should have stopped and talked to him first. Christ. I should speak up. Oh dear. Screaming children and oozing corpse, and it's not even my birthday. Wow. I thought the absolute wouldn't dare set foot in my circus. To use such a woeful <coughs> dribbles impersonator, why it's downright rude. An impersonator, are you sure? As much as I love a good murder, my customers don't. The real dribbles charms animals and makes puns. Awful puns. Not this. Alas, I cannot afford to lose any more staff. Funerals are so very expensive. I need to move the circus, but I cannot leave just yet. Not without dribbles. He was a star. Customers of every color and creed simply adored him. I need him back, and I'll shower the person who finds him in love, adoration, and adequate compensation. What do you say? Um, I'll look for dribbles. That's the spirit, darling. And remember, I look after those who make me happy. Hmm? Good luck, and thanks ever so much. I can keep I like going like a little Every longer chance now. you get, someone's hitting on you. It was like around here? What? You fight good. Doppelganger, not so good. <laughs> oh, God. What the hell? Sister Yanis. Why oh, can you do like that? But okay. <gasps> Hmm, what's that? I... I'm confused. There's... 
There's a dead rat in a box. And it has health and life. Note from Business Lord Popper. Read. Sorry for killing you, but Popper wanted the tasty hand you found. Bots love Popper. Okay, I don't know who Popper is, but we're gonna take the dead rat for now. Where is the fucking clown? This is terrible. The circus is supposed to be a safe place. For us performers at least. Oh, Popper. <sighs> Clown man is dead. Oh, well. Want a treat home? I kind of did written your note. What's this about a hand? I found it by the clown man's tent. Fought a rat for it and everything's. <laughs> it's a, a one of a kind hand with artisanal bite marks. It's worth lots. Ground Doom Tibishin, you will give me that hand or I will grind you beneath my heel, you insufferable gnat. Oh! Being a drow just makes me an asshole for legal reasons. Oh, uh, of course. A anything for a most beautiful and fancy drow person. Yeah, uh, Papa hopes you like it. Clown's severed hand. Okay. So the clown's dead. You are the very best at what you do. Hello again, my vicious little warrior. Any luck finding dribbles? Or parts of him at least. Oh dear. Dribble's flesh is near torn asunder. Poor thing was most certainly alive when he was hacked up. Well, that just means this treasure hunt is all the more challenging. Toddle on, darling. There's more of dribbles to find. I have to find more. I have to find pieces of him? What the fuck? What is this fucking circus? Dude, what is wrong with these fucking people? I'm like, oh, that's a shame. Here, go find the pieces. I'm a puzzle man. I'm puzzly. I'll give it a shot. Oh, there's a fucking open grave back there. Let's go investigate. It's locked. Come on, open up. I got it. Yay! Let's go investigate the hole. Well. Okay. The hole, I guess. Ah. I dug up a grave not thinking about it. Weird that that one's able to be dug up. Is 
going to keep the casket there for now. Get your shinies and tritos. That drowned nose was as crooked as you carved, my darling. He was simply in denial. You look a little shell-shocked. Worry not. It's nothing a little music can't fix. To go talk to these... How could this happen? To Dribbles? To my home? I can't believe we had to rely on a stranger to save us. No offense. Untaken. Unfortunate incident involving a child's fingers. They attacked a child. I heard what you did about dribbles. He is, was a good egg. Thank you for making sure no one else got hurt. Refugees traveling along already stupid enough to leave. Remind them that this is our Great! Another bloody outsider! You lot are coming out of the walls, aren't you? Look, man. Call me an outsider again, and I'll cut your balls off. Never felt an earthquake in Baldur's Gate before. What the hell's? Welcome, adventurer. I take it you're new to Rivington. No doubt you came here to choose from my fine selection of weapons. Yes, I seem to have it all. Clubs, swords, maces, bows, cutting and gutting galore. Why don't we see if we can find the perfect weapon for you? Oh, you know my perfect weapon. I provide a personalized service for my customers to make sure the weapon I choose is the perfect fit. Tell me, how do you like to kill? Oh, the vengeance swiftly and without hesitation. As long as I follow my oath, my actions are justified. I see. Playing to your strengths. Keeping things simple. And when you kill someone, what do you feel? Paladin, to kill in service of my oath is my duty. I'm proud to do it. Killing holds no fear for you, does it? You understand what it takes and what it gives. <laughs> One more question, if you'll humor me. Do you think you could turn your weapon on those closest to you? Perhaps, if there is no other option. There's a killer inside you, isn't there? It wouldn't take much to push you over the edge. This bitch again? Hmm. Still rolling in the muck, I see. Gortash knows you are coming. Knows you have the Bone Lord's stone. Do not let him hiss hot air into your worm-weakened brain. Oh. You could kill him, let him close, and make him feel the tickle of your blade between his ribs. <laughs> Remember, his throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. You will read it on your skin soon enough. This bitch is annoying. He's toying with me. What does she want? You try attacking me when my back isn't turned, you bloody coward. I didn't attack you, I've been out here the whole time. Don't dare lie to me. I saw you with my own eyes, grinning at me like some bloody imbecile. I'm gonna knock that smirk right off your face. Mm. 
He had a blow to the head. Are you sure you're rem remembering correctly? Certain. Ah, uh, God's be damned, I don't know. I'd have sworn, but my head's pounding. I don't remember. I need a bloody drink. Go on, clear off. I've seen enough of your face today. Up in Arthur's mansion. I like that I'm finally back in civilization. Oh, fine. Not even finally. This is my first time. It's cool. I have people to talk to. There's way too much to do, though. This is probably what people are saying. The you know, Act Three's long as shit. It is. Oh, I'm saving. Gary. If I was a Sharon. No, I'm afraid I must insist you do not pet the hound. My love, you can't keep being so rude to strangers. It's just a dog. All the grabbing and touching startles, poor Biscotti. I will not apologize for caring about my boy. Bit presumptuous. I never wanted to pet your dog. Oh, trust me. Your eyes say it all. Everyone wants to pet him. Some of us don't. <laughs> Either way, he's, uh, if simple petting startles the dog, you can only imagine how stressful this camp is. Whatever the dog thinks, being here is much better than being out there. Right, my dear? Well, the children can be a touch crabby, but yes. You're quite right, my darling. War is no place for a precious little baby like Biscotti, after all. Actually, got here safely. Towing along my wife's sister and mother. Or maybe they towed me along, eh? Okay. Wait. Christine didn't clean the cookware, Mother Mona. Again. These are my friends. You're all right. My gods, you're all right. Come here, darling. Beautiful sight, and all thanks to me. Yeah, smile, they look so happy. I was so scared I'd lost you. Me too. But we're here now. Safe. Wouldn't be too comfortable. We'll be safe here forever. Maybe not. But we have each other now. We have this moment now. Thanks to you. So, you survived. That's more than many of my kin can say. At least you made it. Hey, at least you made it. How are you holding up? It's mainly anger that keeps me going. Zevlor was supposed to lead us, but he froze when we needed him most. Uh, I haven't seen him since the massacre on the road, which is lucky for him. Yeah, okay, bud. What a sad situation. The once proud tieflings of Elturel reduced to beggars. I mean, I have a mansion. We can go kick some people out. I'd. I'm really worried about Umi. Umi. They got me signed up to learn to make pots, which is dumb. I'd rather learn how to kill cultists. <laughs> and I bet you'd back me up on that. Why is he all? Washing my pits, washing my pits. This is the song when I'm. Aye! Gonna blood not get any bleeding privacy around here. 
Bunch of perverts, the lot of you. Oh my god. <laughs> Funny. Mr. Owen. Thinking of trying to get into this barn? Don't. Why not? I quite like barns. Not this one, you won't. Now piss off. Dude. That is a fucking perfect. Everybody's just so fucking angry. The long rest. If you want to chat, talk to Nesta. I like my personal space. All right, excuse me. <laughs> Nesta. Donations. For what? Do you not have eyes? The refugees. If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. I'd like to take the donation into the barn myself. <laughs> well, if you must. I suppose it saves me the walk. But if you're gonna do it, hurry up. Okay, you gave me the okazies. Addis. What are you doing down here? Was Mole over here? Pardon if my eyes are all saucer like. I didn't realize Baldur's Gate was so big. <laughs> Being dangerous, watch yourself, kid. Dangerous? Oh, it's a gold mine. So many pockets to pick. Wait, I know you. You're the reason some of us got here in one piece. Thanks. And you're in luck. Because we're having a special sale on some of the choice items I picked up on our way here. Fancy stuff. Want to see? Uh, tell me these items aren't stolen for the goods donated to the refugees. Don't be a goose. They couldn't be. Bloody flaming fists are guarding that barn like it was a bank. <coughs> but even if they were liberated from the barn, all profits go to the refugees anyway. So it's legit, right? Look at these fancy items you have on offer. Would I try to fool a sharpie like you? Have a look. Loot, loot, loot. Polymorph into a dire raven. While wearing the amulet, the wearer's jump and flying speed increased by 1.5 meters, and they gain feather fall condition. Feather fall effects will resist uh, a wild shaped. Okay. You still have the shit I sold you? That's funny. You have way more money now. Way more money now. Got a piece of jewelry that. Okay. There we go. Stay away from trap chests. Donations chest. There we go. No, oh, this really looks like a big deal. So I don't know why I argued so much about getting in here, just being defiant, I guess. They're beggars and criminals, and we won't have them. File a report, and I'm sure the manic will deal. Baldarians! 
Stand with me against this tide that threatens to overwhelm us. Please just go home. You're ruining a perfectly uneventful posting with this nonsense. The flaming fists are supposed to protect this good city, but they allow trash and vermin to take our homes and goods. Oh, another visitor, I see. Listen, we keep letting the likes of you in. Soon, there'll be no room left for any of us true Baldarians. Army on your doorstep will slay Baldarians and refugees alike. You must stand together. Another bleeding heart. Piss off and take it elsewhere. God, I would fucking take my hammer and bust your jaw off. Ah, oh, what a fucking bitch. Making me angry. He's still here. Damn it. Fair enough. Jocks is still there. Level nine and like three times the, as much gold as me. Yeah, when did you get a survival check on? What the fuck? What the hell are you survival checking? Oh, what's that? Holy shit. I wasn't thinking. Starving folk tend not to. If they just lined up and, and taken their fair shares, we'd have had plenty for every. <laughs> if you're here to fill an empty stomach, look elsewhere. Folks swarmed what little was had, stuff in their pockets. Bloody animals. Why are we randomly fighting? Why? It's the fucking master hunter. I gave you this guy already. What the fuck do you want? Fuck. I mean, 
dude, come on, dude. What the fuck? Can't give up. Not now. Oh my god. I gave this man a star oh, can rest. What the fuck? Something good here, I hope. The undead Bane. Holder Iris. Cast his practice sword. Chess his practice sword. What the fuck? understand the point. I don't I don't get it. I'm confused. All we did was all I did was walk over here just immediately get into combat. I mean I could speak with dead. Can I? Fuck it. I'm confused. It's all that matters, I guess. Still, Magnus, 
is dead. This does not go well. There must be something. I said, step back! Damned outsiders. Swarming the place. Halt! By orders of Lord Gortash, refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. Have an urgent business in the city. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? That's extortion. My good lady, I am Will Ravenguard. I will not pay to enter my own city. Ravenguard? Ugh, more like the ghastliest tiefling south of Neverwinter. No refugees. It is decreed. I don't need any money to support myself. I live off what I can find in nature. Eh. Right. Article 30.1.5 of the Council's decree on extraordinary wartime measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? Why do you need my name? I'm doing the questioning here. Last time. Name? You're scamming me. Give me my money back. I'll take it up with the Duke if you don't like it. Now, your name? Well, Daisy Dewdrop Fluffington. Well met, citizen Fluffington. Your parasite stirs. From the construct, you feel connection, resonance. Gonna go now? Not just yet. State your business. Ballad and deception. Unable oath compels me to enter this city. Open, body still. Why? The Watcher will communicate with our new intelligence directorate. They'll determine if you're a threat to the city. Upstanding citizens have no reason to fear. And you are an upstanding citizen, aren't you? I would like to think so. Yeah, do she says. Hey, whatever. Please don't kill me. Behind the watcher's gaze, a presence awakens. You are seen. You are known. Whoa. My engine, it's almost... I don't know... Buzzing. Like it's paying attention. Your party's prior transgressions are reflected in its stare. As witnessed by the cult's ever alert scrying eyes, it has heard the howls of slaughtered goblins. I've... It knows the cold walls of Moonrise Towers and the cultists who fell there. The Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the absolute. Come quietly. Or die. Uh. Um, level eleven party's kind of fucked. Let's sit to a rest. Your peaceful surrender has been noted. You will be transferred to Worms Rock Prison, where you will await. Further sentencing. Eat this, you pile of junk! Villains, take heed. God damn it all! Recovery is Fight imminent. Bastards, or I'll me. have your heads! This is front page material. This unit. 
unit is damaged, citizen. This unit is damaged, citizen. This unit is damaged, citizen. Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? Noticing Baldur's Gate was a responsibility to people in need. As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one, create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two, shut the gates in the name of security. Step three, bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. Wow. All right, I guess, um, we're at a good stopping point. Kind of the long rest, I don't know. I don't know. But I got some things I gotta do. So, uh, I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.